even if you are involved as a producer, it's not it's not your say which take is chosen, what, you know, there's always some higher power that decides on tone or music or whatever it may be. And um, in the past, I've just found it heartbreaking in, at times um, to kind of see what the finished thing turns out like, um, which is why I decided back in 2013 to start producing because I found it, I was getting more frustrated by not, not having as much autonom autonomy as I would, I would have liked. When I set up my production company, that was back in 2013, pre Me Too, pre Time's Up, pre, 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 all of that. And there really was a void at that point. Since then, we've it's started changing and then it really did start changing in 2016 when we made this film. And actually, Summerland was, Jess and I are both part of the UK Time's Up um, team and we were very involved in that, both of us. And, um, and this film really represents, you know, us getting as many women as possible involved in the production side creating as much diversity as possible and telling a story that is the sort of story that we would we wanted to tell and we wanted to see and the character that is not necessarily likable which is you know um but lovable <laughs> but um but yeah i i think um yeah and every time you make a film it is you're just sort of going for something and who knows how it's going to turn out but if you can make it with the right intentions and the right heart and the right agenda and you know exactly why you wanted to make it at that time, then you, it doesn't really matter how it turns out. This is what I tell myself these days. Um, but, you're, but, but the intention behind Summerland was all of those things. And, um, and I'm really proud of it for the, because it's the first film that Jess Swale has directed, even though she's directed a lot of theatre. She, uh, for a first time, this you know it's, it's quite an accomplishment and um and it's hard to get films made for the first especially as a woman um to be get to be given the opportunity and also to be able to be given the budget that serves your vision is a real struggle for still for female directors so it's still an ongoing thing but at least we're making more stuff now which is really encouraging and uh it's just when i look back on the last four or five years and it's just like a different world for uh, female film filmmakers at the moment. <laughs>